Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Right, I've come out fishing on my local pier, just because this is all the time I have uh, at the moment. I couldn't, I was gonna go out fishing yesterday, because there were good tides yesterday, but I went pumping for lug the day before yesterday, and when I woke up yesterday morning, I couldn't walk. <laughs> I was literally in that much pain, I couldn't walk. The only way I could walk was if I leant up against something or if I used a stick, so yesterday was a write-off, today it's calm, the weather has completely changed from yesterday. Yesterday we had a little bit of a chop on, and we had westerly winds, and today it's like southwesterly, which is still alright, but it's flattened the sea right off. So I've come out, the, only, the reason I've just come here is just because I don't want to end up not walking again, and I won't be able to get on, so I've got... I've come to a local close area for where I live, so a bit of easy fishing really. Well, easy for, I mean, not to catch fish easy, I mean, <laughs> easy fishing to get down and start fishing. Uh, fishing two rods, I've uh, brought the leader icon back out. For the, well, this is, this, is, this is actually the second time, but the first time it went out, it was uh, a very poor night, <laughs> I'll tell you that. So I didn't, that's why there was no video for that. So, officially, this is its first daytime <laughs> out, back out again. So it's fully rebuilt, brand new eyes, brand new whipping, everything. Uh, brand new real sea, brand new uh, shrink wrap, everything. Everything's brand new. I'll give you a little show of that later on. And um, I'm fishing, of course, the Sonic Vader. Can't bring that out. I can't, I can't not bring that out. I've got... Up and overs on both on both rods. I've got an up and over with four or sukuma mantas and a three or circle on the big rod, the lead icon. And on the Sonic Vader, I've got a, like say an up and over with tiny one or hooks with just lug worm bait on black lug. I've got black lug on that and on the Sonic Vader, and on those lead icon, I've got a cart and bluey wrap. Bit early still and then fish the tide to the flood and about three I think it's like three and a half hours I've got and then I'm gonna have to go home because I've got my cousin coming around uh, to give me a hand and doing a job so yeah won't be that long <laughs> three and a half hours it's not too bad but yeah I've got a couple of anglers down the uh, double steps is absolutely rammed on the big pier right now um, one two three Four. There's four, four people, five including me, on this small pier at the moment. Um, on the big pier, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven people on the big pier. Most of them are on the double steps. <laughs> I'm going to give you a, a little look around now, just to show you there. The mark if you've never been here before. Right, so over there is Tesco's, behind that big building there, there's Tesco's. Tesco's car park and then you walk up towards that building there where Matt's bait is and then you walk further up past the the harbour up onto the small pier and then you're here and there, there's the lighthouse there in the background and then there's a big pier behind and there, as you can see double steps is absolutely rammed that's where I like to fish for my cod sometimes <laughs> but uh, yeah this is the mark here, and you can fish all along here. If you're coming to fish here for the first ever time, like if the if the place is rammed, or and you can't really get on, like from the point all the way to where this wall is, where that guy is now, from there, this is all the best marks. I I prefer to fish on that corner where it, where it turns there, and then from there straight out, you can't go wrong there really. Um, I like to fish for a place with Lyle Fella on the end of the pier, just down the side of the wall. Just a little 10, 10 yard lob, and we've had place there, no problem. But yeah, starting to fill up now. There's the doors letting some water out the, out the marina. The sea cadets over there. Yeah. There's a whitey rock over there. That's one of the popular marks I like to fish off at the moment because <laughs> like I say it's, it's in walking distance 
partings around the corner. Yeah, crystal, well, I wouldn't say crystal, but it's clear. Definitely not the conditions you want for cod anyway. But that's not my target today. My target is fish. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> right, I'm going to put the camera away now and concentrate on fishing. Right guys, bit of an update. <laughs> Absolutely rubbish. Uh, I've had three casts on both rods and I've had nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. I've, I haven't seen one fish out of all of us. I haven't seen one fish come out yet. The lads on the big pier keep on changing spots. <laughs> I don't know why. Good. On big pier now. There's only two on the double steps. Three have moved over to where the wall starts. So, can't be doing very well on there either. So, yeah, we'll keep trying. I've just downsized, downsized the bait a little bit on the big rod now. I've just put a half of bluey on, but it's, I've filleted a, a bit of a, a small bluey and I've halved it and then whipped that on just about that size of a bait maybe two inches two and a half inches and yeah I've just threw that out as far as I can and uh, like I say same rig up and over well at the moment nothing first cast on the small rod which was just straight black lug that came back strip first cast uh, from after that the second cast came back in and I still had a little bit of worm left, so the crabs didn't have all of it. But on the big rod, every single time I brought it in, there's always had a crab that fell off just before it got out of the water. So there's crabs. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've got to battle the crabs. I've got plenty of bait to, to go through. I need to get rid of all of it today. So, so when I get to the point where I've realised I need to start scopping some big baits out just to use all this bait up, uh, probably like an hour, an hour before I leave. That's when all the big baits start going out. <laughs> you never know. Maybe something might come out of nowhere. You never know. But we'll see. But at the moment, very poor. Very poor. There you go guys, first fish. I was literally about to put, the, just brought it in, just to uh, change bait because for the last cast, and there was a white on it. <laughs> Save the blank, at least. But yeah, one more bait on the soft, on the big, on the small rod. Get that through out and see if it maybe get something a bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, look, this is why we're not catching any fish, guys. Got a little tiny pup. I think that's what they're called, sea lion, sea lion pups. <laughs> Literally, what, 10 yards from the wall. <laughs> That's why I've packed up one rod. <laughs> and now I'm going to go home, I think. Waste of time. <laughs> one whiten and that was it. But yeah, yeah, we've been watching him coming uh, back and forward here. Going towards the ramp, which is like a way, quite a long way. And going all the way down the beach. And then I've just spotted him coming really close to the wall. And he's literally, what, like I say, about 10 yards of... 10 yards away from the wall <laughs> that's i think that's the closest i've ever been to an actual seal a seal oh well i'm right, gonna pack up now where's he going is he coming back Let's see if he comes back nah looks like he's buggered off somewhere else oh there he is oh he's eating something he's eating something He's just been chowing on something. Well, there he is swimming across the top. <laughs> there he is, diving again. Right, I better get my bait in before he finds my bait. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to catch a seal. Better get my bait in before he finds it. <laughs> we put a little white in and it'll be 
be on the end of that. Well, this is heavy. Oh, it's just let go of whatever it was. There's something there, but it let go. Something's had a go. Trouble is, it's, it's not cold enough to get rid of the crabs, is it? No, oh, but like I said, it's just going to start getting warm enough. Yeah, so. and all you do is just feed the crabs, isn't it? Because I had something, I had, a, I had a dead weight on when I was bringing that in there and then within like a couple of turns it dropped off so I think probably a crab or something but it must have been a big crab because it's quite heavy but yeah, completely stripped <laughs> Right, I guess that's the end of today's video we've seen seals, we've seen a whiten we've had a quiet day so yeah not the best video but it's a video for you <laughs> bit of an update every week, every week I'll try and do a video every week if it's going to be a rubbish video it's going to be a rubbish video unfortunately but I'll do what I can do what I can do but uh, yeah see you next time uh, hopefully do a better video <laughs> see you later